So you guys are coming off the loss last week in Minnesota, back here at Air Canada Centre tonight. Uh, what's it going to be like to get back in action here on home floor and try to get back on the winning track? Uh, we're all excited to get back after it. Uh, I don't think we played well enough last weekend to win. So anytime you can have a quick turnaround and play on the Friday and get back at it and, and show everybody what you're made of, I think we're really looking forward to that opportunity, especially in front of our own fans. And uh, for you personally, uh, you were held goalless the first time out against Calgary at the start of the season. Um, what are you going to do tonight to uh, hopefully put one behind Mike Poulin? Uh, I just got to put a little bit more at the net, uh, generate a few more shots. Uh, my shots aren't quite where I want them to be. I got to get into double digits, I think, and, and generate some more chances for myself. So I think if you put enough at the net, some will go in. You're not on the defensive side of the ball, but uh, this is a very potent offense that comes to town tonight uh, in the Calgary Roughnecks. What did you guys work on in practice to get ready to, uh, to face a team like this? They really don't have any weak spots up front, uh, and they have a lot of guys that can actually burn you one-on-one. -on -one. Start with Curtis Dixon and Jeff Shatler. Uh, they're just really deep, so our, our defense has their hands full, and you just kind of got to be on every shift because they're, they're smart enough they'll score those quick goals on you if you're not paying attention. And we, we know what we're facing tonight, and it's a tough challenge, and, and hopefully the boys are up to it. Now, a lot has been made of the transition game uh, over the past couple of weeks, especially against Minnesota, but uh, you guys ha did have a lot of success in transition against Calgary the first time out. Uh, how important is the transition game going to be this evening? It's funny because a transition game can either make or break you. If you're hitting those shots, it's tough, it's tough for teams to keep up, but if you're missing those shots and they go back the other way and score on you, it's, it's kind of tough to keep up. So I have all the faith in the world and the guys in the back end. Half of them could play on the offense on this team. So starting with Jesse Gamble and, and Bill Greer. We've got a great group back there, and, and hopefully we can put the ball in the back of the net. You're currently leading the league in scoring. Sean Evans, who plays for Calgary, is number two in the league right now. Uh, you look at that matchup head-to-head. -head, do you get excited when uh, you get a chance to go head-to-head -head with another guy that uh, is right at the top of the scoring chart with you? Uh, I think at this point in the season, it's a little early to, uh, to be having the head-to-head -head matchups, especially in that, that race. But I'm happy that we're sitting at 5-2, and two and uh, you know, I hope I can put the ball in the net a bit more and maybe I'll keep that race interesting. But it's way too early to, to be thinking about those kind of things. We're just thinking about getting the next win, especially after we come off a loss like that in Minnesota.